Good evening, and bloody welcome to Summer Night Murder Mystery Sinking Island, even though it's fall. So let's continue where we left off, which is in the dining room. Uh, Jack Norm, musing the photo of Walter Jones' face and Hubert and Nolan's testimony, is persuaded that Jones' death was not accidental but very much criminal. Thanks to several traces and material elements left around the death of Walter Jones, he was able to determine those present on the tortoise belvedere on the evening of the crime, Baina, Lorenzo and Hubert and Nolan. That night, Baina and Walter Jones fought and Baina is in all likelihood responsible for Jones' fall onto the rocky beach. The scratches, the fingernail and the tumultuous footprints around the belvedere confirm to Norm this hypothesis. The arrival of the coroner's report turns everything upside down. Walter Jones was killed by a gunshot, thus Baina seems to be innocent. Nolan did not go to the Belvedere just to help his boss, he took advantage of the situation to steal the key to Walter Jones' safe. The key being kept on a chain around his neck. Norm found uh, this key covered with Nolan's fingerprints in his suite. Uh, in his sweet safe. Nolan used it to open Walter Jones' safe and to collect his testimonial arrangements. Sonia and Billy caught him in the act and, as proven by the uh, objects found in her bag, she took everything. The safe contained all of the things needed for the future marriage between Walter Jones and Baina. A marriage which, if it had taken place, would have disinherited all of Jones' grandchildren for Baina's profit. By comparing the compatible calibers with the bullet that killed Jones and discovering the powder traces, which show the rifle's recent use, Norm was able to establish that the crime weapon was a blazer carbine with telescope belonging to Walter Jones' very own collection. The shot was fired from the library window, as proven by the shards of wood found on the windowsill, which came from the crime weapon. This coincides perfectly with the autopsy report, which establishes that the shot was fired from a great distance. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk to... I think we should talk to... Billy or perhaps not let's talk to Clara then Mr. Inspector charged with the investigation I'm all ears the items deposited in Walter Jones safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered the marriage with Baina would have taken place and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate Walter Jones was a real scoundrel. You should believe me, Inspector. But he's dead. In this business, it's old man Colio and his daughter who are the losers. That's what I think. They're just unlucky. But after all, they haven't lost everything. This island and this tower remain theirs until it all disappears underwater. Hmm. Yeah, about how long uh, does uh, is that be before uh, the whole island is flooded and... And I think that the tower will collapse sooner or later. Uh, okay, so let's talk to her about Walter Jones' file on his heirs. What is the connection between Walter Jones and your father's consulting firm? You're certainly well informed, Inspector. Walter Jones is responsible for the collapse of my father's consulting firm. The jerk didn't want to help Billy who was in danger of being finished off by the Russian Mafia because of some gambling debts. The old man wouldn't lift a finger, and it was my father who absorbed Billy's debts. He did it for me, of course, but he counted on Billy repaying him in the shortest possible time. Well, obviously, Billy wasn't able to reimburse him. That put my father's business in difficulty. The poor man had a heart attack, and in fact, he almost died, you know. He's still not out of that mess. And guess what? The Jones Company is in line to buy my father's firm. I okay. dreamed of strangling Jones, Inspector. Hmm. Yes, I really dreamed it. Okay, so let's continue the conversation. 
I get the impression that Walter Jones was not very affectionate with you. Walter Jones knew that my father's health was poor after the payment of his consulting office was stopped, and he didn't do anything about it. Even though he was a self-made man, just like my father, he could have tried to understand that for my father all would be lost, especially because this was all because of Billy, Inspector. Yes, Jones was a monster, a cruel and heartless man. Okay. All this seems to indicate that Billy got himself in a real soup, and his family with him. What do you think? It is, above all, Walter Jones who got us into that soup, Inspector. That old jackal was in no position to give lessons in morality, believe me. It was he who never wanted to absorb the debts of my husband. Walter Jones, one of the richest men in the world, didn't let go of a cent for his grandson. Okay. I didn't think Jones was such a jerk. And his accomplice, Nolan, doesn't seem to be much better. As far as I'm concerned, Walter Jones can burn in hell, <laughs> Inspector. And Nolan deserves no better. He's the one who advised his boss to let my father's consulting firm collapse to pieces so that they could buy it at a throwaway price. See you later. Okay, so... Hubert Nolan seems to be a pretty shitty guy. Let's see if we can... If we can talk to Billy here. Or maybe Hubert Nolan. Hmm. But we talked to Hubert Nolan not long ago, so let's talk to Billy. A question is buzzing in my head. The items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baina would have taken place, and you would all have been disinherited. My grandfather was a damn pervert, you can take my word for it, Norm. And frankly, it disgusted me to find out about his marriage plan. A filthy old man and a 20-year-old kid? It's nasty, don't you think? Thank God our luck is turned now, and I hope it'll stay on our side. Hmm. Okay, so... So, Billy really didn't like the marriage. So... Uh... All the grandchildren of Walter Jones seems to to have pretty much hated Walter Jones' guts. Um, so they are pretty much prime suspects, I would guess. But Hubert and Nolan seems to be involved in the murder. I don't know why he would murder his boss though. Uh, maybe he was promised a piece of the cake. Um, I think that Walter Jones was murdered by some of his grandchildren. Maybe all of them. Uh, maybe they uh, were in cahoots. Uh, and maybe even uh, Hubert Nolan uh, was a part, which I have already mentioned. Um, perhaps even Lorenzo are involved, because he really seems to like uh, Baina. So yeah, that, that are my thoughts for now. Let's talk to Billy about uh, Walter Jones' file on his heirs. Ah, well, Billy, I had this impression that you shook a stick at a beehive and that you dragged your family into this murky business. Well, it's true, I confess. I made a real mess of things. And then after all, it doesn't surprise me that my miserly grandfather hated me to the end. Nevertheless, I trusted him. Okay. I thought he was going to help me out. Or that his estate would help me later. And then the old jerk didn't lift his little finger when Grigory Pavliev, the insane mafia don, contracted someone to deliver my head. You're from the police. 
You have to get me out of this situation, Norm. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, I'm a dead man. Yeah, so Billy got the mafia after him. Uh, and that is not good. So perhaps he is so desperate that he murdered his own grandfather in order to inherit money. So that he can pay uh, his debt. Or maybe I'm just wrong. Well anyway, let's talk to him some more about uh, this file here. Walter Jones was not fond of Clara. I dragged a lot of people I love into hot water. Gambling, drugs, all that. I know. My grandfather was pitiless towards me. He never gave a single cent to save me from misery. But still, he could have spared my wife and my father-in-law. But that's the way it is. I'm a good for nothing, and Walter Jones was the worst of sharks. Okay. I didn't think Jones was such a jerk. And his accomplice, Nolan, doesn't seem to be much better. Inspector, I know that my father-in-law has some major health issue, and that it's all my fault. My wife is angry at me. It's to be expected. But Walter Jones could have arranged everything just by lifting his little finger. He preferred to take advantage of the situation by preying on my father-in-law's business. He's the king of jerks, and his acolyte is more or less the same, Norm. Oh yeah, so... Uh, Billy probably won't inherit any money, uh, but his wife surely will, uh, at least I think so. So, I don't know, can Billy have killed, uh, well, uh, Walter Jones weren't his grandfather, uh, but his wife Clara is a, a grandchild of Walter Jones, so he would still get access to the money, I guess. But that kind of turns things around because I, I kind of thought that Billy was... Um, was a grandkid to Walter Jones. I forget from time to time uh, about who the relatives are. Uh, but yeah, well anyways, uh, let's leave that thought right there and continue with the conversation. Why did Walter Jones talk about Sonia's desire for revenge? The truth is that Sonia is the bravest of us all. She really has courage if you see what I'm trying to say. The grandfather always knew this. He was afraid of her and respected her. Sonia didn't fall for it. She was the only one who fought back. You understand? I see. Okay. So I don't think that we can ask him about anything else. Uh, let's find out where people are. Uh, Sonia is in the dining room, yeah. Yeah, it is Sonia that we talk to, is it? I thought it was Clara. I'm not sure. Perhaps it was, perhaps it wasn't. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> here we got Billy. He's in the dining room and we talked to him just now. Uh, Martin is in the dining room as well. Uh, Sonia is here, uh, even Coolio is here, uh, Christina is here, uh, Christina has left uh, her suite, that's good, uh, Clara is here, uh, Lorenzo is here, uh, and Baina is here too, and Marco Jones and of course Hubert Noland is here as well, so Everybody is here, uh, except for Walter Jones, that is. Uh, so, 
where do I find the other persons who are here? Mm. You're really worrying me, Christina. Don't worry, honey. The fever will go. I'm in a hurry to leave this place. It's absolutely necessary that you go to a doctor. Okay, so she is very ill then. Um, okay, so let's talk to Christina because uh, we haven't seen her out of her, uh, her room for quite a while now. I need your assistance to clarify certain points. The items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baina would have taken place and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate. Walter Jones was an evil man, Jack. Nevertheless, I thought that he still had a little affection for his grandchildren. I am too naive. Walter Jones was a real crook. And it seems to me that Colio and Baina almost came into a lot of wealth. Too bad for them. Yeah, sucks to be them. Uh, so let's talk to her about Walter Jones' father. I get the impression that Walter Jones didn't particularly appreciate you. Am I mistaken? I'll tell you a story, Jack. One evening in Houston, as I was leaving the movie theater, I was attacked by a man. He hit me and slashed my face. It was one of Walter oh, Jones's Oh, that's why hitmen. she got a score. I am sure of it. The guy said, go away, you dirty communist slut. Go back home to Russia. It's the last warning. You understand that, you bitch? Next time you'll be dead. And he stuck his knife into my cheek. Of course, it was the old god Jones who wanted to intimidate me to force me to leave Marco. He thought that it would injure his political career if I was seen around him. If I may permit myself, Christina, I believe that Jones was unfair to you. Do you believe that you can get your hands on at least a small piece of the estate now that he's dead? I am not an heir. And then Marco and I, we are not yet married. If you know of a formula that would allow me to have this old jerk's money, then you have to let me know right away, Jack. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, so... I, I think that Christina is more decent than, uh, than what Walter Jones thought she were. Uh, I didn't quite get it, but was it Walter Jones who slashed her face or did he hire someone to do it uh, I quite didn't get that um, I, I think it was Walter Jones himself who slashed her face but I, I'm not sure uh, so yeah that's why she got that big scar on the left side of her face there uh, and I don't know she she don't seem to to be able to commit a murder but who knows uh, let's talk to her about do the you think Walter again. Jones's fears about you were justified miss maybe I don't know Jack there are people who like me and others who don't but Marco was ready to leave politics because of his love for me he told me this often Okay. Christina, this page from Jones's diary about the assault on you seems totally like a confession to me. What do you think? Of course it doesn't surprise me. Walter Jones didn't have the courage to do the dirty work himself. I was beaten and given a death threat okay, by a so higher that's hand a, that because the, the son of a bitch wanted to force me to leave Marco because he's a Republican candidate and I wasn't a woman suited to a future senator. Jack, life was not always easy for me. When I lived in Russia, it was sometimes really hard. So it doesn't really frighten me to have the blade of a knife pointed at me, understand? I would have loved to kill this pig of a Jones hmm. myself. Yes, I regret pig it. Of a Jones. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, so I got a new statement, I guess. But... 
I haven't gained any more clues about who seems to be a good marksman. So I, I don't know how I will be able to solve that piece of the puzzle. Uh, well, let's talk to Marco as question. well. I won't be here for long. It hasn't Excuse been. I am yeah, distracted. it hasn't been long since we talked See to him, so uh, we couldn't talk to him now either. Or, or either, as uh, since we have talked to him. There's no point in talking to him again. But here is Marin, so let's talk I to him. I assume you want to question me. So go on then. Okay, so we got a few conversation pieces here. Let's start with the turtle. The box. items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baina would have taken place and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate. I think that Walter Jones' deception, intended to disinherit his grandchildren, is particularly vicious. To marry a young woman who could be his great-grandchild. Can you believe that? But I'm not really surprised that this man had such a scheme. Mr. Jones was not a commendable man, Inspector. And rather fortunately, if I dare say, Destiny was able to thwart his Machiavellian plans. Okay. Uh, the renunciation of placement under psychiatric supervision. Letter from Walter Jones to Nolan. Conciliation before placement under psychiatric supervision. Let's go from left to right. With regard to Walter Jones, everyone plays the victim. But some people didn't refrain from trying to make him fall from his perch. Listen, Inspector. It was publicly known that Walter Jones was no longer the same man after he had his accident. The procedure that we initiated to have him put under psychiatric care was perfectly logical. The old man was no longer of sound mind, and he wasn't even able to understand that he ought to pass on responsibility. Okay. If the heirs had thought of inheriting, it seems they're off to a rather rocky start. What do you think? Old Man Jones manipulated us all. I truly regret not having taken the procedure of putting him under psychiatric care to its conclusion. It is now clear that he had lost his mind, and that he was getting ready to disinherit all his grandchildren. What did you get in return for rescinding that Walter Jones be put under psychiatric care? I suppose that Hubert de Nolan told you that I was behind this initiative of putting him under psychiatric care. And yes, I acknowledge that without any shame. The shares of the Jones Company had been dramatically down for a while, which was not surprising in any case. Walter Jones had become a paranoid and dangerous old man for the viability of his corporation. He had endangered it by his irrational decisions. I understood that he was going to lose all his wealth. He had to be stopped before he okay. led himself to ruin and took his grandchildren with him. But the old man had it in for us. We should never have signed this document. It's a mistake that will cost us very dearly because my wife and her brothers will get nothing. I am convinced of that now. All right. Uh, oh, here we can ask him about who seems to be a good marksman. And we can also ask him about who were the last people to go into the library before the murder. Uh, let's start with who seems to be a good marksman. Do you know how to use a rifle? You're informing me that our host was killed by the shot from a rifle. And now you're asking me if I know how to use a weapon. Yes, that this is This is all correct. a little too obvious, don't you think, Inspector? And even if all this turned out to be precise, I would avoid boasting around you, wouldn't I, Inspector? Probably. Okay, so let's ask him about that subject again, then. Do you know who in this tower knows how to use a gun? I don't have the foggiest idea, Inspector. You know I don't know Mr. Jones's circle very well. Okay. So, who were the last people to go into the library before the murder? Did you see anyone in the library the evening of the murder? I never set foot in this library, Inspector. I therefore cannot help you at all. Sure, I see. Oh, so now I got 
perhaps I got what I need in order to save, uh, in order to solve. No, I don't. Who seems to be a good marksman? Uh, I think I have to remove that declaration and perhaps replace it with. Well, he didn't really said much. Nah. Uh, nope. No, I don't have gained any new evidence. No, that is why the progress bar haven't filled up. So I am still missing something. I don't know what though. But let's talk to... Is this Clara? Go on, I'm listening, Inspector. Excuse me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. Or is this... Um, what's her name? Uh, no, it was Sonia. Uh, but we don't have anything to talk to her about, uh, apparently. So we are going to have a huge storm tonight. We might even have to leave Sagora. I am no longer hungry, Baina. Okay, so let's talk. Let's try to talk to Baina Excuse again. Me. Just one question. I don't it think won't be too that long. we can, Excuse though. Excuse me, I am no? distracted. So I let's talk to Coolio then. Here I don't think are. that. He a got much again. to say either. You are spinning your web, but Coolio will not fall in it. I am listening. Excuse okay. me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. So Coolio don't don't seem to like uh, Jack Nor much then. Uh, let's go and talk to uh, Lorenzo. I just have some questions to ask you. Excuse me, no. I am distracted. I, I have what I need. See you later. That. Hmm. And I cannot run to this side of the screen. Um, let's take a look on the characters database. Uh, Billy, we have talked to him. We have talked to Martin. We have talked to Sonia. We are taught to Coolio, or at least tried. Uh, we are taught to Christina, uh, to Clara, yeah, uh, to Lorenzo, to Baina. I think we talked to Marco, didn't we? Uh, to Hubert, no, no. I, maybe we haven't talked to Hubert and Noland and Marco. So let's. I need you See to enlighten you can do me on a that. Point. Excuse me, I am distracted. I no, have what I need. Uh, See oh, you later. that wasn't uh, uh, Marco. That I just was, have some questions to ask. You. I think that Excuse was Billy. Excuse me, I am distracted. I, I have what I need. See you later. I tried to speak to you, but Nolan, but uh, he's standing in the way there. Let's see if we can talk to him. If I try to click uh, there. What can I do for you, Inspector? Excuse me, I am distracted. Okay, so... I have what I need. See you later. But where is Marco then? Or maybe I tried to talk to... Yeah, I tried to talk ah, to him. See you again, Inspector. But... So, excuse me, I am yeah, distracted. Yeah, I can't talk I have to what him. I need. So see you later. I have tried to talk to everybody now and some of them I have talked to um, so what should I do now I am totally lost okay so uh, it don't seem that the water have uh, rised uh, it seems to be the same level as it have been since the tower uh, was flooded. I think that is good. Uh, but what what should I do now? I 
am totally lost now because I have talked to everybody that I seem to be able to talk to uh, but I am still missing some piece of evidence that I don't know where where I can get so I might have to consult to the walkthrough again um, let's try to I there are three puzzle pieces here that haven't been activated yet uh, so I got a total of five puzzle pieces left to solve uh, before I am able to find out who the murder is um, so yeah uh, who were the last people to go into the library before the murder let's try and solve this piece of the puzzle Mm, now the progress bar haven't filled up at all. Who were the last people to go into the library before the murder? Hmm. Okay, so all I need is the document, but I haven't found the document yet. So, uh, I are unable to solve this piece of the puzzle. So, let's change back to who seems to be a good marksman um, but as you can see I am missing something there and I have no idea what I am missing so I think that I actually have to to go back at consulting my walkthrough because um uh, I I can't think of what to do next. I have talked to everybody and I have searched through everything that I can search through at least what what I know of. Uh so hmm yeah, let's let's run back to to the dining area and see if people are still around. I think this was the wrong way though. So, hmm. Yeah, everybody is still in the dining room here uh, at least I think so hmm okay so yeah I don't think that I don't think that I can do anything else here so should I Maybe I should head to Christina's um, and Marco's suite. If I can find the elevator that is. Where is the elevator? I might have to run down here. And... Hubert. You don't seem to be doing too well today. If you eat like a sparrow, how are you going to make a comeback, man? Do you want me to get you some mulled wine? Might do you some good. Let me eat as I want, Billy. I don't drink much alcohol, as you know. I know this stupid investigation has got you real down, Hubert. But don't let yourself go like this. I don't recognize you anymore. My grandfather really liked your killer qualities. <laughs> okay. Come on, buck up, camper. Oh, don't worry about me, Billy. It's just uh, tiredness. I've seen others, believe me. So, what was that conversation all about? Um, 
let's see if we can talk I'd like to, to them. Ask you two or three I don't questions. think that we are Excuse able me. to do that. I am distracted. No, no. I have what I need. See you later. What else can I do you for, Inspector? Nothing Excuse at all. Me. I was I trying distracted. to speak I have what to Hubert and Noland. What can I do for you, Inspector? Probably Excuse me. nothing. I am distracted. No. I have what I need. So See you later. let's head up to Christina's room and search through that because that is the only thing that I can think of. Uh, since she has been in her room all this time. Hello, Mr. Elevator. Are you gonna get here soon? There it goes. I thought that the elevator might might have uh, stopped working, but it seems to work fine. So let's now. Nah, this was the right way. Uh, uh, what floor is her suite on? It's on floor 14. Okay. So let's go to floor 14 then. I don't think that I will find anything in here though, but it is worth a shot because I don't know what else to do. Okay, so let's run into their bedroom and I really don't expect to find anything in here but just in case let's check it out I have already gone through this suitcase, so I can't find anything else here, no, and nothing on the bed. How about the bed stand? Nothing in there. Okay. Hmm, okay. I saw a safe over here. Let's check that out we are unable to do that so let's head into the bathroom and see if we can find anything in here which I highly doubt nothing in there and it is totally empty so this was a waste of time uh, I, I just don't know what to do now. I I am the worst detective ever because I am out of clues. I am totally out of clues as to how to progress the uh, the um, investigation. Uh, so instead of me just running around uh, trying to figure things out uh, I will actually cheat a little a little more and uh, look on the walkthrough and then I will um, yeah I, I, I will hopefully find out what to do next uh, in order to to make progress uh, but it is time to end this episode here because uh, I, I just don't know what to do so hopefully I will know what to do in the next episode uh, so until then thank you so much for watching and have a good night